Jawbreaker is a Pac-Man clone programmed by John Harris and released in 1982 for the Atari 8-bit family by Online Systems. It was widely lauded by reviewers, and became a major seller. The story of both its creation and Harris' Atari 8-bit implementation of Frogger form a portion of Stephen Levy's 1984 book, Hackers. Legal issue In 1982 Atari, Inc., which licensed the home rights to Pac-Man, unsuccessfully sought an injunction against the sale of Jawbreaker and Gobbler, another online computer game, which Atari claimed unduly resembled Pac-Man. Online's Ken Williams denied Atari's claim but was uncertain of the outcome, stating, If this opens the door to other programmers ripping off my software, what happened here was a bad thing. Topic. Ports John Harris also programmed a version for the Atari 2600 released by TigerVision in 1982. Because of technical limitations, Atari 2600 Jawbreaker is not a Pac-Man clone and is different than the Atari 8-bit game. A rough sketch of the 2600 game was used as the basis for new computer versions from programmers other than Harris. The new game was, confusingly, sold as both Jawbreaker and Jawbreaker 2 and was not as successful as original. Reception Jawbreaker was well received by critics and it was given the award for Best Computer Action Game in 1982 at the third annual Archie Awards. Archie Award judges described the game as a must for Pac-Man fans lucky enough to own an Atari 400 or 800 computer, and specifically praised the game's music, a chiptune version of The Candy Man. In 1983, Softline readers named Jawbreaker second on its top 30 list of Atari 8-bit programs by popularity, behind only Star Raiders. The magazine called the game a very clean, fast action game with little sophistication, citing its clean, fast, and cheerful." Graphics and consistent gameplay across platforms, including the Atari 2600. David H. All of creative computing video and arcade games set of Jawbreaker and Snack Attack, for Pac-Man fans, either is recommended. <laughs>